I wanted to take you on a quick tour of the upgraded AM8, which was originally an ANET A8. Uh, made a lot of improvements to it, as you can tell, some of which you've seen before. But I just had another big bout of holiday time upgrades. So you can see it's got the aluminum frame, which of course it's had for a while. But I also put a new controller on it. And this is one of the Big Tree Tech dual mode controllers. So not only can it do all the touchscreen functions, but you can also switch it over into Marlin mode and get kind of a conventional display and you can switch back to touch mode so what else well we have a new hotbed because it was a 24 volt supply put in so it's no longer a 12 volt machine pretty much everything's 24 volts with the exception of a few of the fans the uh, bed has new springs <clears throat> that's an upgraded build plate, although that's been there for a long time that's supporting the heated bed. We've got the Raspberry Pi. The power supply is mounted on a nice bracket. You can see the X carriage is completely different. That's actually my X carriage on Thingiverse, which was remixed from a different X carriage. Um, <clears throat> 24 volt fan on the extruder, blower motor, and custom, you know duct. Obviously it's in a Bowden setup and an auto level sensor. The board is, if you can swing around to see it, that is a spider board from Phytech. I think I'm pronouncing that right. So it's got eight servo drivers or uh, stepper drivers rather. There's also a filament detection system now which actually can tell if the filament is jammed or if it breaks and so it'll stop the print and allow you to resume it that works quite well um, we've got a modified wise camera mounted here to be able to check the progress of prints we also have one of these little cheap Microsoft cameras I think it's Microsoft or Intel uh, that they were blowing out around Christmas and it's just on a gooseneck in the USB and that actually makes for a nice little camera also so, trying to think what else can you see here. Pretty much uh, everything else is what you'd expect to find on a regular AM8. Uh, I did put Marlin on the board. I finally switched off to Marlin. So, I'm doing UBL bed leveling. As you can see, the bed's pretty flat. Uh, not really. It's within about 100 microns of flat. But the uh, bed leveling takes care of the rest. And... A lot of the pieces that hold, like the rods, have been replaced by metal. And in fact, the stop here is a plastic piece that I printed uh, to st so I could use the metal holder because the old plastic one was both the holder and the stop holder. And I wanted to put the metal in there. All the, st the stepper motors, you can see there's only two screws in there. They're on isolators. So it's very quiet now between the new board and the isolators. The isolators have been on there for a while, so it's really mostly the new drivers are very, very quiet. Uh, it's made it into a very quiet machine. So I really don't have much else I want to do to it now. I'll eventually take and add some more extruders. That's a Titan extruder there um, with a little bit of messy wiring I see now. And uh, I, I plan on putting a few more up there and trying to run three a three to one mixing head instead of this head. I need to come up with some design for a bracket that holds on to the the hot end uh, that so I can easily replace the hot end. Right now it's pretty major surgery to do that. So still working on that. And oh I guess the other thing is the power supply has a custom bottom that you can't see from here but it's got a regular AC plug uh, you know, the three-prong IEC cable and a switch, so you can turn it on and off without having to unplug it. And what else? PEI spring steel bed surface. That's pretty old, too. I've had that for a while. So a lot of upgrades here lately, um, and, but also a lot of uh, old stuff that was upgraded before. A far cry from the $100 acrylic-framed 
ANET A8 that it started out as. So, anyway, if you are interested, there it is. Thanks for watching.